Hi, here we are. Holidays. Support your local businesses. As you see, we have quite the spread to choose from. These are pretty cool. So we got to think about what I can put on that front corner that's going to get blasted with sun all day and we'll be fine. These are pretty cool petunias. Did purple petunias last year. Lantana. I have so much lantana, that butterfly weed, all of this stuff. I have so much of this around the house. I never buy it again. And this, don't pay $7.99 for something that'll grow. Well, at least in this area, it's very invasive. Let's see. Ooh, pretty hostas. Gardenia. So that's a hibiscus. Hello, hibiscus. Don't think I need any more hibiscus right now, but in my view, you can never have too many. I also got to think about what I want to line the front of the house with. Oh, these are pretty. really bright out here so I'm not entirely sure sometimes what I'm filming. <laughs> so excuse me if you can't see anything. Plumbago. Six or more hours of direct Sun. Well, they would love that in the front. Let's see how big they get. Um, it's about a foot. Definitely don't want something too big on that corner. Like a tree. <laughs> back here we get some more like tropical stuff. That's what I'd like for the backyard. I can hear my credit card crying as I walk through here. Please, don't overuse me. Yeah, see, this is just one thing I won't do. I'm not going to pay 50 bucks for a plant that I can get to look like this in a year for 15. No. If you got it like that, knock yourself out. Sorry if that is loud. There's a train over there.
day lily. This is what I think I have all along that side in the backyard. Lavender azaleas. Wow, that's only 15 bucks. Now, these little guys are weird. And it says six or more hours of sun, but I've gotten them to grow in pretty much shade. And depending on the variety, the leaves can get really big. I wasn't real pleased with these. It says it gets almost one to two feet and even in the sun I didn't get any of that so let's see what we got over here Formosa azalea These are pretty. Hmm. So this is what, oh, that's a hydrangea. That's what I have in the front in that big pot that I was saying that I wanted to possibly move because, uh, and put the sago palm there because um, mine, depending on the acidity of the soil, is either like a purplish color, but it kind of turned out more like a, a bluish. So I think the soil in that pot is pretty acidic because it was more blue. And I like them, I just wish that it would bloom for longer. So maybe I just don't have it in a very good place. I just wish they would stay in bloom longer. Ground orchid. Hmm. That might be kind of cool to put up in the front. Here are some of the cannas. This is like what I had in the front last year. That I'm not sure will come back or not. Flax lily. African iris. That's pretty. I like to do a walkthrough before I really start making decisions because if not, then I'll just start throwing stuff in a bucket. Now here are the other ones that I was talking about. These that are kind of weird with their leaves. See, look how big and beautiful these leaves are. And the other ones just look like they're always struggling. <laughs> this is what they're supposed to look like when they get big. But I've not put them anywhere in my yard where they look like that. But these might be pretty to put in the front. 
in that little area. How much are these big ones? 50 bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mama. Nope. Some pretty little arrangements up here already done. Let's go see, check these out. Now these are similar to what I had out front last year. All right, I had to fix my storage issue. So, I picked these little guys up. How cool they are. I have no idea what the hell they are. I can't pronounce the name of them, but they look really cool. And these are delphinium, and they can get like four feet tall and one foot wide. These didn't see how big they'll get, but I thought that these would look cool in the front in that little corner there because they both say full sun so if they want to get blasted with sun that's the place to be and let's see what else we want to put out there maybe toss a little yellow in oh but we don't want lantana because I got that everywhere I definitely want some of these but I don't know what color I want Cosmos. These are another plant that, at least here anyway, um, they come in like the packets of the seeds, um, like the wildflower seeds. You'll see Cosmos in there. I had some pop up last year. Or just starting them from seed down here is much better than paying, what, $7 for a bucket of them. I didn't get started enough early, early enough this year to start by seed, but I will start a lot of things by seed just so I don't have to pay extra for them. Now these over here, these Mexican petunias, I do have some in my yard, but um, through one of the gardening groups that I'm in, I found out these are very invasive. Um, and so people will tell you, especially in Florida, to take them out of their out of your yard because they will take over everything. And this is another one of those plants you find them. It's everywhere down here, along the roads, lining the roads, uh, that and azaleas. You'll see those Mexican petunias and azaleas everywhere, lining the roads. Pansies are pretty. And snapdragons. I love these. My kids always love these because you can take them. And especially my daughter, when we go outside and garden, I'd say, hey! Hey, how are you? So happy to be here. I'm a pretty flower. <laughs> oh, and the lady running me is a nerd. But my kids love those in all different colors. I had these actually out front last year. And they did pretty well.
These are pretty. Good old Dusty, Dusty Miller. This will grow pretty rampant, and this will come back. I've had this come back year after year. So one of the other great things about living here is some things that are supposed to be annual, or they're actually perennial. They'll come back year after year. I've had impatience come back. Um, I've had petunias come back. Actually, the petunias that are hanging right now, one of them's still alive. That one's been around for a while. I might put some of these snapdragons out front. Maybe put them in those pots. Put some of these in that corner out front. Get a little yellow mixed in there with them. Yeah. Now which one? We want these. These look a little different. And these. These almost look like marigolds, but they're not quite... Now these, like Snapdragons and stuff, I probably will get at Liz because it is cheaper there. Um, and I hate to do it, but yeah, that's like eight bucks when you get it at four or three. Pansies, two fifty. That's not bad at all. They don't look very happy. And I don't know how they would do out front. Lavender. Mm. Ooh, that smells so good. Get some of that. My neighbors would think, why is that lady out there petting her plants? What a weirdo. This is called Veronica. Hey, girl. Hey, Veronica. How you doing? Okay. So I got some of these guys. I picked these up. I'm going to put these in that kind of big area by the swings. And I have some like those purple salvias over there. And then I picked up some of these to go in the front by the street in that corner with these. And then I'll probably pick up some like marigolds or something like that. They're a little yellow and orange. I like lots of color. And then I, got, I picked up some Veronica. I picked up Veronica. I picked her up. We'll see how she does. I thought I'd put one of those in a pot in that little corner there and then this in the other pot so I'll have these next to each other because I just think these guys are so cool. Don't know what it is, don't know how it grew, but we shall see. So I'm going to pick up and then these, I just want to show you the big ones that I had, I believe they're going to have a dianthus. But these are supposed to be annuals and those are still alive in a pot out front of my house from last year so they will come back as a perennial sometimes but this is where I picked up the bigger version yep Dianthus so I got the bigger version here to go in the front and I'll pick up some contrasting colors of things. So maybe we can get some yellow in there and some orange. We'll get some snapdragons, some petunias. I think I'm going to put some white ones in there. But I like to get a little extra color, but those I'm going to pick up flats for. So because it's just too expensive to buy it by the gallon for eight or nine dollars a gallon when you can get a flat. And 
just patiently wait for them to grow. And it's fun to watch them grow anyway. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys where were they. I think they were back here. So the ones that I was saying that I can't get to ever keep alive, this is that. I can't ever, this is like the vine version that will climb. The real name, the, that. I have a yellow one and I just cannot, and my mom can get these to grow like crazy. Now, she is in a different climate, but I would love to be able to get these to come back year after year, get them to climb something, but they just won't. And I don't know if it's, I have them in too much sun, too much shade, what the water situation is. I don't know. So if anybody in this area, or really anywhere, has an idea of how to get these to continue to come back, I am all ears or eyes so I can read your comment. But those would be another great one to have climbing up that seat or that trellis. So I'm going to go check out and we'll see what else we can go pick up.